Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 5.0 Build 1.5.1.5 in VirtualBox. So, this was the first build ever of the NT 5.0 slash Windows 2000 uh, series uh, in the betas, and this is uh, the pre-beta part of the pre-betas, and uh, so. Um, first one ever made so um, this one's a little bit of a confusing tutorial to kind of go through but uh, just will I'll walk this uh, step by step with you guys and uh, we should be all right so I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way like I did in the uh, first tutorials I've ever done I'm gonna show you the links uh, that I put in the description so we're gonna put the virtual box link in the description you got the uh, specified links right here uh, for the latest version of VirtualBox it changes every time I upload um, and then you got the extension pack you can get as well and then uh, also in the description will be um, WinRAR so it's gonna be all this um, you can download the uh, link for your uh, specified uh, language uh, either 32-bit or 64-bit so there's uh, WinRAR, and then there will also be a link in the description. I'll show you this one in a sec. I'll just go in order here. There's going to be a link to the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO. So it's in a RAR file, um, so you'll need either 7-zip or a WinRAR. That's why I include the WinRAR link in the description um, to extract that ISO out of there without a password. So that's pretty nice. That there is none, no password anymore. Um, and then the final link in the description will be a link to the downloading of NT 5.0 um, build 1515 and there's different server links here that you can choose from it doesn't really matter which one you choose I mean I guess choose the one that's closest to your location most likely most of you will choose United States but of course if you're from France choose one of the France servers and if you're in Germany choose one of the Germany servers I don't know how you'd understand me because I speak English but uh, just in case you never know um, and one of these servers might be down like the United States server might be down and you might have to choose one of these other servers so it just kind of depends so those are all my links there let's get that out of the way and let's get VirtualBox pulled up here to create a new virtual machine in the bottom or the top left and we're just going to call this Windows NT 5.0, build 1515. You can leave uh, the version here as Windows NT 4, click Next. And then we're going to create, um, we're going to leave this at 128 megabytes of RAM. Click Next. And then we're going to create a new virtual hard disk. And then um, normally I just leave it at VDI if you're just using VirtualBox. But at, like say you want to save this virtual hard drive, maybe use it in like VMware. If you're using Windows 7, you can do it on Virtual PC. Um, probably would choose VHD, um, but for now you can just leave it at VDI. Click Next. Doesn't really matter which one you pick. Um, choose, leave it at uh, Dynamically Allocated. Click Next. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Create to create the machine. And here we're going to click Settings and then go to Storage and hit this uh, disk up here. And we're going to insert our MS-DOS 6.22 ISO. Um, you're going to have to browse for that and look for it. Go ahead and click OK to save that. And go ahead and start the virtual machine after putting in the ISO. And then it's going to pull up the window here with the virtual machine booted. And now it's going to start up MS-DOS with the uh, with a CD -ROM, or CD rom driver installed. Uh, as you see with the drive R down on the middle there. And um, now what we need to do is, if you were to try to install... Um, NT without doing the uh, formatting of a hard drive, so I'll insert this uh, the uh, NT1515 ISO. If I go straight to R, and then uh, as you see, if I type in uh, setup, there's no command to do that. What you'd have to do is type dir, make sure i386 is there, type in uh, cd i386, and then type in winnt um, dash b, and uh, it'll ask where they're located. And of course, it'll say that it requires a hard drive with at least 100 megabytes of free disk space. That's because there's no partitions on it. And also, if you do Win NT um, by itself, it's going to ask for the. I won't do it right now, but I'll, I could show you later. It's going to ask for the uh, floppies. That's why you type in that dash B to bypass those. So, what you need to do here is um, you need to um, reset the machine if you make that uh, mistake. 
and uh, I need to reinsert the MS-DOS ISO, that's why. So um, if you ever have that error, um, please make sure to follow these next few steps where you need to create uh, partitions and everything. So what we need to do is type in F disk. I always do that. Um, and then leave it at choice number one to do the DOS uh, partition here. And uh, click enter to continue. Leave it at choice number one for the primary DOS partition. Click enter to continue. Make sure to just leave this as Y because it's going to ask to uh, use the maximum available size for the primary DOS partition. Click enter. And then uh, it'll say system will now restart. Just go and click any key. And it's going to restart in MS-DOS. And now what you need to do is type in format C colon. And then it'll say warning all, da all data on the removal disk will be lost. Click Y and click enter. And then that will complete that formatting process. And uh, the volume label, uh, you can choose whatever you want. Or you can just click enter for none whatsoever. So now that's finished. And now you can uh, insert that NTISO. So now what we need to do is type in R colon, and then we need to type in uh, dir just to make sure that I386 is there. Type uh, CD I386 to go to the I386 directory. And here, what would happen is if you type in WinNT by itself, um, it needs to know where the files are located. And now it's going to ask you for the uh, uh, um, one of the uh, three setup disks. So that is why you do the dash B option. So go ahead and click F3 and F3 to exit. And now what you need to type in is win NT and then type in dash B. This is the correct one to do. Click enter and then click enter to continue. And now it's finally going to copy the files on your disk. And of course, there's going to be one error, uh, file that's not going to be able to copy over. And it's called banana.ani. Uh, that is totally okay. Just go ahead and click escape to skip that and then click X to confirm the skipping of that file. And now it's going to copy the rest of the files over without any problems. So just let this process go. It should take about, uh, I'd say 30 to 30 seconds to a minute to complete. And then uh, it's going to say that it's finished. So I'll be back when that screen pops up here. All right, so now it's going to say that the MS-DOS based portion of the setup is complete. And uh, it will now need to restart your computer. So go ahead and click enter to reboot and it will now uh, boot up into the second part of the setup here. So it's going to say Microsoft Windows NT version 5.0, build 1515 at the top. And you should be presented with this Windows NT workstation setup screen. So go ahead and click Enter to continue, and click Enter again. And now you're going to have to hold page down all the way to, it says, F8 to I agree. On the bottom, click F8 to agree to the terms. And then just uh, click enter to leave that as is. Click enter to install on this uh, partition here. And then just go ahead and uh, convert the partition to NTFS. And click C. And then uh, click enter. And then enter one more time. And now it's going to do a disk check. And then it's going to um, quickly copy files again for some reason. And uh, now go ahead and click enter to restart. And it's now going to go up into this OS loader version 5.0. And there you see again on the top it says version 5.0 build 1.5.1.5. So it's now going to boot up into the GUI part of the setup. So, um, And then during this time, uh, actually it's going to convert the uh, file system first. And then it's going to boot up into the GUI part. So. Um, during this next part, um, towards the end, I believe, or sometime during it, you're going to need to make sure you type in the date, uh, the BIOS date. So um, I will uh, put that in the description, and I will also show you on the video what it is as well. So here we are into the Windows NT setup. Go ahead and click Next to continue. And then uh, you got the options here of Typical, Portable, Compact, and Custom. Just leave it at Typical. Recommended for most computers, of course. Click Next. And then uh, you can type in anything right here. And I'm going to type in Windows user just in case um, maybe I decide to put a VHD in the description. But for now, I'm just going to put the ISO and show you the tutorial. Click Next. And then a uh, computer name, I'm just going to type in Windows. And click Next. You can type in anything you want for that. Uh, administrator password, you can leave this blank and click Next. Or you can type in one if you would like. Click No, do not create an emergency repair disk. Click Next. And then we're going to install the most common components. 
and click next and then uh, it's going to do the networking part of setup now click next on that and then uh, here just click uh, wired to the network click next and then start search um, and it might find your Ethernet adapter or whatever um, if it does that's great if it does not that is okay you could probably skip this as well click next um, and then just leave it at TCP IP protocol click next and then click next to install the components click continue on this window and then the HTTP server go ahead and click yes on this and then now it's going to ask to start the network so click next to start it and then it's going to come up with the um, work group or domain option most people probably click work group it'll be it'll do this all automatically for you click next and then click finish to finish the setup here so now it's going to go through the uh, rest of the setup and now we are popped up with this uh, date and time properties window so make sure you set your date in here to uh, March and then go back all the way to 1997 and it is March 18th so March 18th 1997 that will be in the description or you might see this in the video then click close it doesn't matter what time zone you select because the time is going to stay the same no matter what um, click OK on here since it detected your display and um, of course this does not have uh, 256 colors um, automatically but you can uh, bump it up as far as 800 by 600 pixels and then um, you would have to click the test button and then click OK to do the test and it will pop up with this uh, screen right here to make sure that you are compatible with that and you should be able to so click yes if you saw this properly and click OK then click OK down here now it's going to finish the rest of the setup here and then once it is finished it should ask you to reboot so just give it a moment here and it should pop up with another window just kind of depends I guess Sometimes it may look like that it's going to freeze or that nothing's going to pop up. It just takes a little bit sometimes. So I'm going to pause this quick and I'll be right back. And eventually you will pop up to the screen that says Windows NT 5.0 has been installed successfully. And you can remove any floppy disk or compact disk um, from the computer and restart. But we're going to leave it in because we need it to install the sound driver once we boot up into it. Um... Plus, this won't boot from it anyway since this uh, ISO is not bootable. That's why we needed MS-DOS in order to um, install this because this ISO is not bootable. So, we're going to go to the bootloader here and just type in Enter to start up into NT5.0. And you'll see that it still says the build number of 1515. And it's now going to come up into the logon screen here and you see that the background here is the Windows NT 5.0 um, early builds background and here we'll just do the keyboard and then uh, insert control delete and then just go ahead and click OK to log in and it, we are not logged in into NT 5.0 go ahead and click cancel on this and you can click do not install um, it should pop up a couple times just click do not install a driver um, it should be five times maybe six I don't know how many times this exactly pops up but uh, so and then once these are all out of the way um, click no on a restarting computer now and now what we need to do is uh, install the sound driver so what you want to do here is go to settings and go to control panel and then go to multimedia and then go to devices click on audio devices and click add and then here you want to click on creative Labs sound blaster 1x pro 16 right here and then click OK and then now you need to click browse and then on the drives here click D and then double click on i386 
and then click OK. Then click OK right here. And then just leave this at 220 in the I.O. address. Click OK Continue. And then down here where it says 330, click on the arrow and click Disable. Click OK. And now you're going to restart your uh, computer here, or the virtual machine. And then once it uh, reboots back into the desktop, uh, it will finally uh, have sound. So um, it's just going to reboot real quick here. And holy cow, this video is 15 minutes, 30 seconds long already. That's crazy. Click Enter to boot into it. I guess that's what happens if I go into the detailed tutorials because <laughs> I've had a couple comments where people say that I talk too fast in my tutorial so I try and go through it as uh, quickly as possible without going too fast so I mean if this is too long for you guys please let me know because 16 minutes is pretty long so here we go um, input the uh, control alt delete here on the uh, keyboard and now when I click OK we should hear the startup and shutdown sounds of this build. Don't know if you could hear that or not. Might have been very quiet. So, of course, this still uses the NT 4.0 uh, uh, sounds. Uh, it didn't start until the beta 1 builds that they used uh, the NT 5.0 startup sound um, in the betas. So, there you go guys, that is how to install um, Windows NT 5.0 build 1515 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please comment down below for future t videos. And if I went to click on this tutorial, um, and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.